dollar bills. Easy to tell the difference between a one, a five, a ten, even a fifty. That's if you can see. But if you can't, if you're blind like Pamela Sabah and over a million other Americans, a simple shopping trip can become fertile ground for an unscrupulous clerk. Would Helen Keller step to the front, please? I'm just kidding. The clerk at this New Jersey bakery has a strange sense of humor. Do you know uh, Governor of the state of New York? Patterson. He's blind. Governor David he Patterson. He is indeed. No, I, I don't know him. I thought, you know, because you guys belong to like clubs and stuff together, right? <laughs> uh, what can I get for you? Okay, I just need a small cheesecake. Okay. Um, the cake costs $16. She hands him a 50. But when he brings back the change, here you are, 34. It's only six um, singles. It's a scam that the blind say actually happens to them because in the U.S., paper bills are all the same size. Can you tell me what this is? It's, it's $34, so it's your change. Right, but uh, I need to know what, what each bill well, is. What, I'm gonna, wait, I got to count out. What am I, that heritage for the blind or something? I Other customers out. take notice. Some can't stop looking. So we got the 20. That's a 20. That's no 20. Okay. It's a single it's dollar a bill. The clerk right. is pulling a fast one. Okay, let's I'm handing keep this you going. a 10. That's a 10. Okay, great. And great. that's this no 10. Good. It's also a single. What the other shoppers don't know is that Pamela, in addition to being blind, yeah, is an actor, 10, 20, and so is the clerk. The bakery is working with us, all part of our hidden camera experiment. Right? 10, Will 20, anyone let yeah, this blind 10, woman know she's being swindled and stand up to the cheating that's, clerk? That's a 10, 20. I don't think that's really nice what you're no. doing. <laughs> Not at all. What, what am I doing? Well, I'm sorry. So this isn't you the, this one has six right? singles in your hand. I have six I, singles? No, I, I should have $34. I, I know, I saw you. No, you did not. I've been you watching you do this to this lady. Where's the 20? Where's the 10? Right. I don't like know. Where, actually, where is the Where's 20? your where's boss? Where is your boss? I'm, I'm boss. watching. I'm watching you do this. You, did she give you $50? You're not giving her I'm the sorry, money back. I gave her the money. I mean, oh, I'm check taking, her. I am taking my business out somewhere else. She's I'm furious, but can't I'm bear to leave. And you were rude to her from the beginning. Thank but, you. But I gave her her change. I don't know what happened to you it. I don't know where it is. Is he the boss? Yes. No, there has to be somebody else above him. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Hi, my name is John Kenyonis, and this is part of what would you do? So what made this woman speak out when so many others didn't? Okay. I guess that's how I was brought up. That, you know, if you see somebody's in trouble or they're taken advantage of, you have to say something. The con game continues with a new group of customers. No, you got 10, 20, four singles. Right, okay. Once again, she's been given all singles. And this time, the clerk is being even more insulting with offensive words that the blind say they hear all too often. Where's your helper? Don't you have a helper to like come no, to the store with you? I don't have a helper. Just tell me okay, which so bill is which bucks. so that I know. I'm Other customers can't believe what they're seeing. And once again, it's a woman who steps forward. And when she does, this time others join in. These are all singles. What are you doing? She gave you a 50. She gave you a 50. She gave you a 50. She gave me a 20. She gave you a 50. People saw you want more. The clerk tries to cover his tracks by saying she paid him less money, but they're not buying it. Open the register. Yeah, register. yeah, yeah register. open the register. Okay, open, You're open being a register. dick, man. Hey. Yeah, really. Excuse me. And I'm going to tell you bluntly. That language is, uh, I don't care. Sorry. You're like acting a total idiot in front of her. She's not a handicap. Once galvanized, this angry group refuses to leave until the blind woman is given the correct change. Just be quiet and give her her change. Be quiet and give her her change. It's hard to upset the apple cart. It's hard to take that first step. Carrie Keating, professor of psychology at Colgate University. It sometimes takes other individuals who step up and act before the rest of us recognize that this is an event that needs to be addressed. And talk about groups. I don't believe you. This next one turns the event into a therapy session after our clerk has given the money back. She's not letting me. I used to work with, with people who educated people about how to deal with people with disabilities. I know you thought you were being cheerful, 
but you're very condescending to this woman. Right. Thank you. Well, and, and I have to say, I'm a psychotherapist. You're the one with the disability. Right. Well, uh, this is all great. Right. This is a beautiful. This is there. Right. Maybe we should all be on Oprah. We should. Not Oprah, but what would you do? But what if the blind woman were a blind man? That's thirty-four dollars as you change. Which one's that? Is this twenty? Yeah, that's twenty. Cool. Okay. Astoundingly, in half of his shopping trips, he leaves without anyone telling him he's been cheated. I was surprised that people saw me getting ripped off and didn't say anything. In a room of 10 or 12, 15 people, I would think that someone would step forward. You didn't want to say anything. Why not? Because he looked mean. <laughs> ah. the, other, the guy behind the counter looked mean. I should have done something. Maybe next time? Yeah. Oh, I sure will. He gave you a 50. All right, well, but sure. when people do speak up for the man, so the man no, no, no. they're not only infuriated by the cheating. No, 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 all the cheating I all over the money's blind. I was standing there and watching the oil. I, they're also frustrated by their inability to stop it. You said that was a 20 and that was a 10. In his hand were two ones. Ma'am, I can see. He, he's blind. Well, can you talk? You said this was a 20 and this was a 10. What are these? Those are singles. And would you tell but me there are 20 in the his pocket? I don't know what he did with the 20 and the 10. I'm sorry, I She's so frustrated, she leaves without buying her cake. I'm going to tell you one more time. I'm a cop. She did not give her the right amount of money. She gave her six singles. Yes, sir. So overall, people always stepped up to help the blind woman. But they didn't always step up for the blind man. And when they did, it took them longer. Many people are hesitant to intervene in situations where handicapped people uh, look like they may need help. You know, we're unsure of whether or not our help will be received. People might be insulted. They might be, you know, it ch sort of challenges our ideas about our independence. Which might explain why, despite the clerk's snide remarks... You have like a seeing eye dog or something? People never said a word until they actually saw him cheating. That is, except for this memorable man who looks out for the blind woman from the moment she walks in. Can you over here, please? Oh. On your left. Me? Right here, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Helen Keller, step right up. Sorry, what, what can I get for you? Yeah, I just want and once she orders her cheesecake. I got a line of people. I'm going to try to get this done before February. Okay. So, is there anything Excuse else? Me. You... I'm a customer too. Yeah. I have a oh, right Jesus. Here. He still puts his foot further in his own oh, mouth. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Thank what you. was that, You're sir? really being rude. Just stop talking. Oh, You're just oh. getting deeper and deeper. Oh. Maybe, maybe you ought to be behind the counter. Sir. I should. I do a lot better job than you're doing. But the clerk just doesn't stop. So, do you have a helper or someone who's going to? going to tell you what money you're giving to No, me? usually I don't have to deal with people like you, so, uh, okay. I mean... It's going to be $16, please. Do you know which pocket it's in? Oh, God. What is your problem? Do you think just because I have a vision impairment, you can treat me this way? This customer cannot hide his disgust. Okay. How so much is it, please? $16. Are you deaf, too? Oh. I've three times wow. already. I mean, come on. Oh, bro, you, shut up. You heard me tell her $16. Shut up. How many times? Enough's uh, enough. Okay, okay. So, $16. Just shut up. He vows to make sure the bakery owners find out about the clerk's rude behavior. And remember, the blind woman still hasn't been shortchanged a penny. <laughs> I just can't believe he was doing that. I know. It turns out he owns a restaurant down the street. Yeah. If, I, if one of my people ever, I'd have pulled him out of the counter and killed him in front of the customer. I swear to God, I would, I, look, my hair is standing, man. Look at my hair. Oh, this guy. my hero. Uh, how about your hero? Yeah, right. While Pam didn't really need any help, she surely appreciated it. It's great to feel the support. Good, good. That's, I, that's what it's meant to be. He so, had your back. Yeah, yeah, I had your back. Exactly. I was waiting for him to come out at us. <laughs> I want you to hit him with a stick. I know. <laughs> but even more empowering, say our blind actors, would be to have a currency that they could distinguish, something that may be in the works due to a recent court ruling. Uh -huh. Until then, every time they shop, they'll have to rely on the honesty of strangers.